Non-inventory parts are goods that you buy, but you do not track as inventory. Non-inventory parts can include the following products and goods. Those purchased for a specific job and then charged back to the job. Those you sell but do not purchase. Those you purchase but do not resell, such as office supplies. And those you purchase and resell but do not track as inventory. To create a new non-inventory item, go to Customers from the main menu at the top, Invoice Item List. Right-click in the Invoice Item List and select New Item. Select your item type as Non-Inventory Part and enter in a name or number. Enter in a description and enter in a retail price. Click on the Accounting tab and assign the income account to be affected when this item is sold. Based off of this item setup, I only sell this non-inventory part. I do not purchase it. Therefore, the item is tracked to strictly an income account. If this is an item that you purchase and sell back to a customer, check this option that says this item is purchased for and sold to a specific customer. As you can see, there are now additional fields on the item that need to be filled out. A purchase description, which shows up on purchase orders, vendor bills, vendor credits, item receipts, checks, credit card charges, and credit card credits, or a sales description, which displays on customer's invoices, sales receipts, credit memos, and estimates. You can assign an estimated cost, which will auto-populate on your purchase-related transactions, or leave it blank to fill it out at the time the item is selected. You can assign a retail price on customer's sale-related transactions, or you can also leave the retail price blank and fill it out at the time the item is selected and sold to a customer. You can assign your markup method if you've created one. This button copies the retail price down into the retail price field. You can select a preferred vendor, a manufacturer warranty, a bin, and select whether or not MSDS is required. And now you are to select both an income account and the COGS or expense account. Again, the income account will be used when the item is sold to a customer on an invoice or sale, and the COGS or expense account will be affected when the item is purchased on a vendor bill, item receipt, check, credit card charge, etc. When the information is complete, click Save and Close. For more information on creating items such as non-inventory, click F1 and read the help topic on non-inventory items.